welcome. What I'd like to talk today about photography is a cheap way of getting into medium format photography by using two cheap cameras that, that you can use 120 film with and don't cost a great deal of money and don't break the bank. The first one being, being the Holger. Completely plastic, very cheaply made, made in China, mass production in the 80s sold millions and millions to the Chinese population but it's become a bit of a fine art, a photographer's fine art camera even Michael Kenner, the great black and white landscape photographer he uses an Olga a lot and he's even produced this book containing excellent pictures taken with the Olga as you can see it does take excellent photographs so to learn how to get into medium format photography very cheaply instead of going to the expensive buying expensive medium format cameras I can certainly recommend the Olga one thing you've got to learn with the Olga it has a shutter speed of about a hundredth of a second so you need decent light but I purchased this adapter which you put on you can use a cable release so you can actually do long exposures with it so by putting the cable release in the top you can actually leave the shutter open for as long as you need to expose the other thing with the Olga is the seams let light in they're not exactly light tight the camera's not light tight so I use mine by taping up all around where light is likely up to get into the film as soon as when I put the film in it, I tape the back of the camera up so it's completely sealed in and no light can leak into the in, onto the film. You get two masks when you buy this. You get a six by six mask which will give you twelve pictures, and you get a six by four four and a half which will give you sixteen pictures. I use it just on the on the, the six by six. Say so it takes excellent images. It has a focal length of uh, 60 millimeters but it's a, you can learn how to do compositions by using the square the square compositions when you want to move on to the more expensive medium format cameras like the Hasselblad or other other uh, medium format cameras so it is a cheap way of going into, into getting into medium format photography the film I use with this is uh, FP4125 mainly that's the film that I normally shoot uh, my Olga with. The next camera I'd like to talk about is the Kodak Cresta. This Cresta I purchased for £2 off a car boot sale. Not a great deal of money, but it's a fun camera. It's the point and shoot of the 1950s. Loads of millions of them were produced, families used them, they took photographs with them, landscapes, portraits, all family, all, all family portraits, different things. It was the 
the, the family camera of its day. There's one little thing, a little bit different with this camera. I have uh, altered it and by altering it what I did when I got it I took the lens hosing apart in the camera and once I've got the lens hosing off I pushed the lens from inside and pushed the lens out catching the little washer that comes with it as well turned the lens round pushed it back in put the washer on and reassembled the lens hosing but well, what that gives me now is a camera that has when I take a photograph with it it's going to be 6x6 six, six six format it's not 120 film again like the Olga I also use 125 film with this FP4 and what it gives me is a blurriness round the outside and a sweet spot in the middle so when I'm doing the compositions with this, this camera I can get by using the blurriness guide people into the photograph and how, they, how I want them to view it and it's, it's, a, it's a little bit, it's a bit different, I'm thinking out of the box differently and it's a very creative camera I carry this around with me all the time and if I see something I take, it, I take a picture of it sometimes it works, sometimes it don't but it's a way of being creative and a way of thinking out of the box a little bit differently like the Olga it's completely plastic Although the seals on this one are excellent, no light leaks get into this pit, this into this uh, camera whatsoever. So you no need to seal off the edges or anything. It's completely like like sealed. So what I'm just going to what you're going to see now is some pictures that I've taken with the Cresta, and I hope you enjoy them. Mm -hmm. 